Good day. This is me again. And today, we will continue our module. You can find this on page 12 to 18. This is a hands-on activity. This is our objective. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to use some advanced capabilities of Microsoft Word commonly used to increase productivity and efficiency. You can effectively use this feature to help improve the productivity of an organization through maximizing the potential of MS Word. You can be able to create form letters or documents for distributions of various recipients and you can create a labels and envelopes for a distribution. Okay, let us define the meaning of a mail merge. A mail merge is a method of taking data from a database, spreadsheet, or other form of structured data, and then inserting it into a document such as letter, mailing labels, and name tags. So, in performing a mail merge, we need a word processing. We will use Microsoft Word as our application. And we must have a database. We will use Microsoft Excel or for those that do not have their laptop or personal computer at home, you can use your WPS in your cell phone. So you will use this two application if you have a laptop or personal computer. You need to have Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. And if you are using your phone, you must have a WPS app. As I've said a while ago, we need to use an application that can form a document. We will use MS Word in order to make a body of our message we want to convey or send. And we will use a spreadsheet in order to make an information or a data that needs to be plugged in or merged. So, these two applications consist these two components of mail merge. This mail merge has a label generation wherein it creates a blank form document that simulates either a blank label or envelope of predefined size and will use the data file that you selected to print the information typically individual addresses. And now, let's do it. Okay, so we are in desktop. The, you are going to click the window key at the bottom and just scroll down to find for the word processing or the word application. So I am using Word 2016. And click the blank document. And here we will make a letter, assuming it is an invitation letter to our products for them to, to attend for the launching of our new product. This is just a uh, assuming letter. Again, do not forget that mail merge can be used only if you have a various recipients. If you have more than 10 recipients, then this is very useful for you to make your production easier. First thing to do is the body of the letter. We have seven parts of the letter, but we will skip on that. We will, we will just proceed to the body of the letter first. So, let's start with the salutation, dear, then just leave it blank for now. Then. Let's proceed now to the body. 
So, assuming it is our great pleasure to inform you that our new product is now ready for your evaluation. We um, believe that you will be delightfully surprised to see some of our new products and uh, designs uh, and uh, invite you rather and invite you to call or to attend let's say to visit our display room we will be happy to arrange a demonstration for you demonstration for you at all or at your convenience So we will look forward to for seeing you soon. Now let's uh, include the complimentary clause. Let's say sincerely, and then later on we will include the the name of the sender so that's the use of word here we will type the body of the letter we start it with the salutation then the body and then the complementary clause for the another part of the letter let's open our microsoft excel microsoft excel 2016 or any version of your computer, of your uh, office. First, of course, you use a blank spreadsheet. Just click on File, New, and then Blank Workbook. Okay? Here, you will type the list of file. This uh, we need here the other parts of complementary of a letter the other parts of a letter date what else the address here is the heading um before the address let us type name this as contact name and then the address let's say this is the address one address two and the uh, province this address two could be city or this address one could be a or so this is a shortcut way on how you can uh, adjust the column yield. Date, contact num name, the address one, this is the street or street name or the um, barangay. Okay, the name of the barangay. And we need also the contact name. Oh, this is now the contact name. We need also the the sender. 
him and of course the the designation of the sender so again let's do the shortcut way on how we can adjust the column lead that's it as you can see i click on the column and then i put this uh, handler here on top of it then you can adjust the column it depends on your desired uh, width of your column. Now, let us start to input the informations of this following fields. Um, today, November 20, 2020. A contact name, assuming our contact name, uh, you can use cops lock here. Liam, Anna, Tan. Street name, for example. Again, this, uh, all the reports or all the documents or informations here are not true. I just assume so street name Kalamagi first the barangay street name let's say Luna Street Kalamagi first city city of Ilagan province Isabella sender name so let us edit the spelling of the sender name. Sender name me. I'm assuming I am the manager. My designation is manager. Okay. So again, you will think on other uh, information about this uh, fields given on the first row. So I have already a documents so this is the one that i did a while ago so i can copy this one okay. so i can paste it on the other document this one so i am done so assuming i am done typing all the recipients so this is too big so we'll adjust the column width so that's it so i am ass uh, assuming that i am done typing okay so if you are done typing do not forget forget to click file then save okay and then you just save in desktop so that you can easily find for your document. So you can type your desired file name here. It depends on you. You could use here mail merge data. Then save. 